breaking as we come on the air tonight. People run for cover from the Deer District after gunshots ring out toward the end of tonight's Bucks game. Tonight we know that one person is hurt. Police tell us his injuries are not believed to be life-threatening. Now we are located on top of Turner Hall. We can tell you that about 9, 10 tonight, we heard what sounded like five popping sounds. And as you mentioned, this happened near the end of the Bucks game as people were leaving the plaza behind us. As you can imagine, this shooting caused panic in this area. Here's a map showing you where this happened. The shooting happened near MLK and Highland Avenue. That's less than a block to the east of Fiserv Forum. We're going to get right to 12 News. Courtney Sisson. Courtney, you spoke with witnesses just moments ago. Patrick Joyce, we are on the scene right now at MLK Drive and Highland Avenue. This is just on the corner of where that Bucks game got let out. A lot of fans here, but Milwaukee police are confirming to us that an adult man was shot. They are saying that he does have non-life threatening injuries, but it happened right here on the corner. Take a look right now. We are seeing large police presence. They have MLK blocked off for several blocks, at least through Juno on the other side. Now we also have video from this scene earlier where you can see a victim being placed onto an ambulance and again a lot of people running away from the scene. This is just right near where the Bucks game got let out. A police told us again an adult man was shot and has non-life threatening injuries. Witnesses tell me this started out as an argument. 